guys um welcome back to my youtube channel today by the title you can tell that i'm going to tell you just some tips and stuff to um look make yourself look put together slash like kind of look good kind of like looking like fresh and you know just kind of looking looking bomb not all the time i look like this i'm i look pretty gross um actually so yikes right i have a few tricks up my sleeve that I just do every day and I don't really think about it. Let's get into this video. So for the first one um, is clothes. Um, definitely clothes because when someone looks at you, they'll look at your clothes, your face, your hair, literally everything outside they look at first. Obviously they can't, I mean they That'd be a little weird if they looked, you know, let's not get into that. No, but um, they don't hear you speak first unless they do, which is kind of weird. Anyways, so clothes. So how I like look put together is I layer clothes. So like today, I have a t-shirt over a flannel. Okay, so that's like layering and... Um, you can have a t-shirt over like a long sleeve shirt. Yes. And then that would also look cute. Bold colors. So if you're feeling bold, I don't really feel bold all the time. Okay, so I didn't really explain it well, but like, you know, just wear bold colors when you feel bold. I don't really like drawing attention to myself, so that's why I really don't wear bold colors. But like, I feel like I do draw attention to myself anyways, because I kind of look good. Some days, like today, I feel like I look good. Hold on. Yeah, like I feel like this outfit works for me anyways. The next one is simple. So just keep it simple. Don't try to like, you know, put a whole bunch of clothes on you. When I say layering, I mean like one or two, like one shirt over another shirt type of thing. Not like 400,000 shirts on top, if you know what I mean. Like, hopefully you don't go home and just, or you already probably are home when you're watching this, but you don't just layer, uh, ooh, layer things on. So that's another thing. Don't, like, when I say layer, I mean like one or two clothing items, not like a lot, you know? And then another thing is dress for the weather, okay? Don't be a thought. <laughs> no, but if it's like minus 40 below, do not wear a crop top, like, tot? <laughs> top. Just like... What I would wear would probably be jeans. I wear jeans with everything. And I'd probably wear like a sweater and then tuck it into my jeans. But like, that's the thing with tucking, like tucking in your shirts and stuff. You kind of have to like figure out what looks good tucked in and what doesn't. Because I feel like a lot of people like have like low jeans or like low pants, like low waisted jeans and tuck in their shirts. I'm like, okay, girl, no, just no, that just looks really bad it looks like you're like from the 60s or something or like you're five okay you're not one of those two you're probably not five if you're watching this if you are hello you should probably not be worrying about what you're looking like right now you're just a kid okay be a kid I'm not saying five-year-olds can't watch me but it's kind of weird anyway so like i said dress for the weather so like also like tuck in your shirts too but like have high-waisted stuff not too high or too low like pretty like wait okay just just for this video do what you like wear comfortable clothes like do not wear like tight pants that you cannot breathe in just for fashion okay sorry i probably spit everywhere when i said that um no, but like seriously, like you should just wear what you're comfortable with, what you're like, okay, moving in. Like for me, I like this plaid because if I had this like off, I feel naked, just saying. Um, no, but like, <laughs> I feel like my collar was messed up the whole time. But like, feel like, where would you comfortable in, you know? If you like wearing sweatpants, then you can wear sweatpants. I'm not saying like you have to look put together and you have to have like like all of this like designer stuff to look put together because right now all of this came from Valley Village, okay? Straight up, straight up all of this. Not the belt though, the belt came from my nanny. It, it's still second hand, all right? So see, I have... I work 
I can make things work. Like my next one is going with stripes and non-stripes patterns type of thing. Patterns with no patterns. Like if you have like plaid with like um, checkers, wild, what? What is happening? I'm sorry. I mean, if you like that kind of style, then go for it. It's just, I just think patterns and like two different patterns can clash together and it doesn't really look good most of the time. But if you can make it look good, then you do it. You do it with confidence. Get out of your house, show the world that you can make two different patterns look good. All right? Not saying you can't, but you know, some people can. Next one is colors that are similar, 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 similar. I feel like I'm saying it so weirdly, but like, I don't know, like I usually have jeans. So like blue and blue would look good. All right. Like kind of like a crayon. The next one is jeans with like, um, oh, there is a blood, blood, blood. There's a blug. Um, there was a bug over there. <laughs> Anyways, um, so with jeans, I don't think I have this. My voice, hold up. I think I like cut myself while flossing, like my gum. That happens quite often with me, but like, anyway, jeans with like a solid color shirt. You know, like, um, um, red or blue or yellow. Wow, all the primary colors, you know? That that would actually look pretty good though with like jeans with like, with the primary colors. Not like all the primary colors, but that would look sick too. I mean, just like red or whatever that, like um, what I'm trying to say is like, it's like the simple thing that I was telling you about. Just like a simple, like solid color shirt with some jeans. That would look great too. Wow. The next one is have a theme to your like to your outfits. Um, so with mine, I kind of have a theme and the theme is yellow, sort of like this kind of. I really don't know what kind of outfit this is, but like I like it. I like whatever this giving people vibes to. I like the vibes. Give me all the vibes. So yesterday I had like a minimal simple theme. Like some black, some white, and blue jeans. That was my theme. Like my, like have color schemes theme. So my color palette, like I said, is like mustard orange, yellow, blue slash green, and you know, ACDC. Okay. So another thing that like, that like can literally pull your whole outfit together is a belt. You need to get a good belt. I was gonna buy a belt at Valley Village for like $20. Should have just spent my money because now I'm wearing this cheap ass thing. <laughs> saying, I'm saying, I'm, what the, what am I saying? Um, no, but like this out, like this belt, I don't really like because, like, okay, here's the thing. I have really, a really small belt. Belt, 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 belt. Really small belt. And then I have like this belt, which is like, I had to make another hole for myself, like on the little, like belt hole, you know, there's like little, I don't know if you can see this or not. If you can, good for you. If you can't, I'll try to show you. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because it was too small, too big. It was too big. I have like, I'm either too small or too big, but I should have bought that belt because that belt was the shit. It was so good. Now it's gone. Anyways, um, another thing that I'm just gonna put in here, I didn't write it down because I forgot, but um, is to go to Value Village for cheaper clothes, okay? If you're like me and you're like a cheap ass bitch who wants to save her fucking money to go to New York next month, it took me a moment to realize, yes, it was. it's next month. Um, What was I saying? Value Village, so if you're a cheap, Honey, like me, and you like to go to Valley Village. Well, if you don't know what Valley Village is, it's pretty much just like Goodwill. Um, anyways, so Goodwill, we have Valley Village. Any thrift store, thrift, thrift store. Some people, okay, to be honest, 
Like some thrift stores, thrift shorts stores are like really nice, but other ones I just want to barf because it just nostalgia just hits me so hard and I just want to die. I know it kind of triggers me, but it's okay. It's not really okay. Anyways, the, the, the point is go to cheaper stores like that. Like go to try to like spend less money on your outfits. I'm pretty much saying but you can get like good stuff okay don't just go in there and spend like five minutes and like I can't find anything and leave you have to spend like a whole fucking hour in there to find the right clothes because this literally oh my god also trick for thrifting go in the men's section I know there's gonna be old man old men or like just old men in there glaring at you saying what are you doing it's okay you're gonna look bomb all right just keep that in mind if you're anxious like me and you're scared everyone's staring at you because you're in the men's section don't fucking worry about it you're gonna look bomb in that fucking outfit next week okay just keep that in mind anyways like <sighs> graphic tees are in the men's section and i this one was literally so good the next one, so I said belts, like keep your, I said that. So again, staying with the simple thing, do simple accessories. Like right now, all I have is a scrunchie and that's it. Well, I have my bracelets, but I always have my bracelets on. Um, Like, like have a simple necklace, like just one little simple necklace. Like don't have like a thousand, unless that's what you're going for. But like, if you want to look like... You're put together, have small accessories. It's not small, simple accessories. Have a routine. So what I mean is like a morning routine, a night routine, and kind of, you know, if you're put together, then yeah, look and put together. If you're looking put together, that doesn't make sense. If if you're if you're put together, then you're gonna look put together, okay? So what I mean by a routine is like, if you wake up in the morning, go on your phone, that's fine. Spend like five minutes on your phone. But it's kind of bad too to wake up and then just go on your phone because it's gonna make you tired. It's gonna make you, I wanna go to school type of thing, okay? You gotta get in the mood, you gotta get, it. sure. It's morning, everyone hates mornings. I hate mornings and I used to love mornings because like, School wasn't a thing for me when I was a kid, or if it was, I was really excited to go to school because of friends. I'm not saying I don't have friends. Shout out to all my beautiful, wonderful friends. I mean, like, just school is a bitch, and I usually don't have friends in my, like, class. I mean, I do, but class is just fucking boring. I hate high school. Anyways, the next thing um, for having a routine is, like, just... Have a skincare routine, have a routine like getting up in the morning, having a drink of water, like going to the bathroom, doing your shit before you come and like put on your outfit that you put the night before, you know, have like a routine to really like when you get home, you unpack your stuff kind of thing to make yourself feel put together, I guess. <laughs> The next thing is beauty tips. Well, this is the tips type of thing of the video. So the first one is, you know, like I said, people look at your, your whole body. I mean, they don't go like that. Usually people are like, I don't know if people do that. I know they're kind of, kind of do that type of thing. But usually people look at your face when you're talking, you know, right now you're looking at my face and probably looking her foundation a little bit too dark for her skin. Um, It's kind of flaky. It's kind of gross. You know, I think about that all the time. I don't know if my teeth look, like, other times they look yellow and I don't know why. But, like, my teeth kind of look white. I'm looking in my mirror, by the way. But, and you're probably thinking, my eyebrows look whack. So, here's some tips to make you look healthy. Alright, so the first thing, I usually don't wear foundation. And, you're like, you, you're James Charles. You don't know how to match your foundation. This is actually my friend's foundation. Let's not get into that. Alright. So, the first one is lips. Now, my lips... I don't know if they look good on camera, but I mean, they're soft. So what I do like morning, like in the morning at night, like every day I exfoliate my skin. I made this, 
um, skin. I'm just in skin. I made this skin for Minecraft. I'm kidding. No, I made this um, lip scrub easy. I put coconut oil. I put, it's kind of liquidy, so I probably wouldn't put a lot of sunflower oil. But I had sunflower oil because I didn't want vegetable oil. And we didn't have vegetable oil. The only oil that we had was sunflower oil. So co coconut oil, sunflower oil. Um, uh, what is it called? Sugar. And then I put some mint in it. So that's what I do for my lip scrubs. Um, and then I just put that in the morning. I eat it because it's all healthy. You can eat literally everything in it. So I just eat it. It doesn't taste good. Whenever, and then I put on this, which is like, if it's for cold sores, cracked lips, and dry lips. It doesn't really moisturize for me. Like moisturize, if, if you catch my drift, it just makes my lips kind of feel a little bit better. And then after, like after I do my face or whatever, I put on like Burt's Bees lip balm or whatever. Or I put this, which is a classic lip balm. You know, Carmax. Am I saying it right? I don't know if you can focus on it. It's pretty cheap. I think it was like either five or like, I don't know how much it is. Canadian dollars, by the way. So I don't know how much it is, but it is, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, I like it and I just put it on before my video started. And like, that's how you keep your lips like nice and nice and good. All right. The second one is drink water. All right, drink lots of water. I know you've seen on those like, um, what is it called? Those thread, threads, those trends, trends, threads. Don't know which one it is, but it starts with a T and like on for like on Instagram and um, they just tell you like, Oh, how to get soft skin, how to have clear skin, self-care type of thing. I, I, I'm a sucker for those. Sorry. That's one of the reasons why I'm like really into like, you know, fashion and stuff, sort of. You know, get some tips, you know, and it's good to go online and check. You're probably here because of that. So here, you're doing it too. Anyways, next, a lot of people say drink water or whatever it's like yeah we get it drink water but here's the thing I used to be so cranky and I used to hate life so much and part of the reason why because I only had like a cup of water each almost each day kind of skipped a few days pretty bad for you okay um I haven't actually seen results of drinking water because I have just been drinking like a bottle of water each day but you know I'm gradually trying to drink two um, bottles of water each day, you know, type of thing, because I feel like I'm not going to just drink eight glasses of water each day, eight glasses of water each day, eight glasses of water each day. It's like, okay, chill, Tia. I'm probably, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't do that usually. Like I usually wake up, have to drink my water bottle, get ready type of thing. So drink water, drink water, drink water, drink water. All right, it's gonna make you feel good, it's gonna make you feel fresh, and it's gonna make you feel hydrated, okay? Water is a great thing. I'm not sure if you can see that, if you can't, good. Next one is clean your glasses. If you have glasses like mine, you probably, they're probably dirty. They're probably, you can't even, when people are like, oh, can I try your glasses on? You're like, wait a second, let me just, just you know, oh God, I just ruined, I just put a thumbprint on it. Let me just, you know, clean my glasses for a quick second and they try it's like oh my god it's so dirty it's like i just clean them so at night in the morning middle of school if you can't see the board type of thing clean your glasses that's gonna make you look put together next one is brush your teeth brush your teeth brush your teeth even if you're, if you're over at a friend's house you better 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 brush your teeth okay like i don't care you probably had lots of snacks so brush your teeth because you don't want yellow teeth. You want nice, healthy teeth, all right? You want to be like those beauty gurus who have, like, fucking white teeth. Like Jeffree Star. Okay, I'm not selling, telling you to go get new teeth. Teeth, I probably should. Get a new tongue. Anyways. No, just, like, brush your teeth, floss your teeth. Floss your teeth, all right? Because they're going to make your teeth look yellower. And you're like, how does that work? Like, if you have teeth, if you have teeth, everyone 
almost has teeth. Like, if he had teeth and you have, like, right here, like, usually it's yellow because everything sticks in that, like, little space, you know? And I'm like, fuck. So, floss and brush your teeth. Next one is moisturize your face. So, if you don't like wearing um, foundation like me because it can look cakey sometimes, like this, um... So just floss. Floss. Why am I saying just floss? Just floss your whole face. No. Moisturize. Moisturize your face. So with lotion, with like, with like moisturizer, like anything. I like to put lotion on. Coconut, coconut, co coconut oil is a good way too. So if you want like some more like, you know, just moisturize your face. Like morning and night type of thing. Next one is groom your eyebrows. So like try to tweeze your eyebrows every month or whatever. I pretty much do that. But like if they get bushy, probably look not look great. And eyebrows are like your frame your face. I'm not sure if my eyebrows look good. This one does. This one I don't want to talk about it. Let's just I know. Like eyebrows, whatever. Groom them, groom them, tweeze them, make them look good. All right, you can fill them in too if you have like no ends or no eyebrows at all. All right, you know, just try to tweeze them, groom them, groom your eyebrows. So the next one is nails. Now, when you shake someone's hand, when you fist bump, not fist bump, pretty much just shake someone's hands or, you know, you talk with your hands, you better have clean fucking hands. Now, I kind of have like dry spots in my hand, mostly on this finger. Not trying to flip you off, but mostly on this finger. My nails aren't that clean right now. Um, but like kind of try to keep them like short because people look at your hands if you're doing this. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so try to like cut your nails and like, you know, nail care. All right. You got to keep your nails looking good and fresh. You can even paint them if you want. You can get your nails done. You know, just try to make your nails look good and look and you look put together if you have your nails done right you look like ah look i have time to have my nails painted wash your hands and some people i know out there who are actually allergic to soap which is a little weird but you can put hand sanitizer on or lotion or whatever but like i said hands so people look at your hands most of the time if you're talk with your hands or if you shake with someone you're usually looking at your hands all right so I don't really like my hands, but I just have to deal with, you know, God gave me these hands. Don't want to start an argument about God, but you know, God gave me my hands. My mother, my father gave me this gross, ugly hand. I have like no knuckles at all. I hate them. I hate my hands. But um, is like wash your hands because you don't want to have like weird, dirty spots on your hands. Also, you're eating. Holy shit, that scared me. Um, oh, um, like you have dirty hands. You don't know where your hand's been. All right. I mean, you do, but like touching things, you can get like sick and stuff without washing your hands. So try to wash your hands, try to moisturize them, you know, try to make them look and feel good. All right. Another one is oh, you want to smell good. All right. So here's some tips. So when putting on like fragment, frag, fragment mist or like perfume or whatever, don't rub it like don't rub it oh god i feel like i'm sick anyways like just spray it and leave it there all right just leave it. i'm not sure if it works or not because i can't really smell my like own smell if you get what i'm saying but like when you don't like you know rub it but another thing great way to smell good is to like spray with febreze on your clothes and that will like make them smell really good so also put on deodorant because you don't want to smell like bo because bo literally it it stinks it stinks so much you don't know you don't know how much you stink all right hopefully this works um i kind of got cut off at the end so as you can probably tell that i did um i kind of did like a little thing just before this anyways I would like to say thank you for watching um you know it is just looking put together I mean so this month I was explaining that this month since spring is coming and stuff and I love spring I'm gonna do kind of like a not a really spring clean out type of thing but more like 
blooming from the depths of frozen winter into summer type of thing. <laughs> so, uh, getting, getting new, like, skin routines, um, gonna show you what I do, workout, and stuff that I do for me, and self-care, and all that, because this year, I'm trying to be more, like, for me, and more calming, so I'm not so stressed out with school. So I thought I would do this, because I'm pretty into those trends, or threads, threads, or whatever. Um, I'm pretty into those, and they're kind of making me feel good, okay? They're making me feel like I'm a person. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, sometimes you just feel empty inside. It's a mood sometimes, all right? It's, you know, you get that mood sometimes. But, like, this, except for school. School just makes, just go downhill. But this is the last week before I get my um, wisdom teeth taken out. So that's going to be fun. Anyways, so... This month is more for, um, for, uh, for, this month is gonna be for self-care, doing the things I like to do and showing you them. So, um, I hope you like this, um, video. And if you're new here, please subscribe and like this video and turn on the notification bell if you haven't already, stuff like that, you know? easy peasy. Anyways, I hope you guys liked it and um, um, stay tuned for and put on my notification bells for my upcoming videos I'm going to do this month. I'm going to do some videos this month. Anyways, hopefully you guys liked it, like I said, and catch you next week. Bye!